Eddie Hearn, the liar, once again, get caught, caught up in another lie, said to the uh, media that he wasn't interested in Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in the Sergio Martinez rematch from, feel like, 20 years ago. And apparently he got very, very high interest in the fight. I appreciate you guys for blessing me with your viewership. I'm going to bless you with another video. It's the Boxing Clinic and More. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Make sure you hear Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for Boxing 101 and Early Morning Grind. And if you miss it, you can rewatch it here on YouTube or you can check it on our podcast, The Raw and Uncut, featuring the Cali Enigma and myself, the Boxing Clinic and More. You can check it right, right there on the podcast. The podcast link is in the description. You click the link, you download the CastBox app. It's an amazing podcast app with a thousand podcasts. You can sign up with your Facebook account, Google account, or whatever you want to choose to sign up with the click of a button. And then make sure you subscribe to our podcast. We talk about a lot of different things. And we're going to get the recording back real, real soon. Well, apparently, Sergio Martinez and uh, Chavez Jr., Eddie Hearn has a closed deal for that fight. Now, apparently, Chavez was going to be on the December 1st. Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder card out there in the L.A. at the Staples Center. He was going to fight Alfredo and Gulo. So Chavez has an option to continue the world with Al Heyman or fight Martinez, I guess, somewhere in uh, Texas is what it's rumored to be. Eddie Hearn is thirsty, man. Apparently, I heard somebody report, I don't know how true it is, that, that uh, Joshua and Parker did 1.1 million pay-per-view. No, Joshua, and, excuse me. Pavekin did 1.1 pay-per-view buys on Sky Sports. Um, for the UK, you could take it for a grain of salt, in my opinion. Um, I said that because, you know, if Eddie Hearn said it, you know, it's not true. I need to hear from Sky Sports and they people what the pay-per-view did, but I'm pretty sure it did good. He had like 60, 70, 80,000 people in there. Shout out to Joshua. Keep him boxing relevant in the UK, but Eddie Hearn again, talking some more lies, okay? And the lies that he really talking this time is that he just said it was no interest in the fight. That's what Uddy said. There's no interest in the fight. You know, he had no interest in making Martinez Chavez too. And I'm thinking, like, even Eddie Hearn got standards for the zone because this weekend people acting like the zone. You know, I, I just, maybe this is a separate video, man. Maybe I go live a little bit later. But people will put trash on a pedestal. You know, they was trying to tell us HBO was better than Showtime. They tried to tell us ESPN better than Showtime. Now they're telling us this trash-ass card this weekend. They got Big Baby Miller opening up versus Thomas Adamick. Oh, Adamick. Calvin Johnson, a, a European, UK bum. You know, when I say bum, not so good. Taking on Ar Arthur Baturbia, who ain't did jack shit in his career. But they've been selling fear on him for a while, okay? He apparently ran Andre Ward into retirement, please. And then they got Thomas Delore May taking on Jesse Vargas and Danny Roman fighting on the card as well, too. Like, dog, I was going to go to Chicago to that card, but that card was so weak. Like, Delore May versus Vargas, like that, I mean, come on. And people saying, I'm looking forward to that card. Like, get, get out of here, man. Go get you a life. If, if you at home Saturday night live, on the Saturday night, and you looking forward to watching the card featuring those fight Miller, Adamick, and in, in, in the main event of of, of uh, Delorme and Jesse Vargas, man, go get you a woman, man. Go play with your, go make you a baby on Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, go get go go get you a job. Go get you a part time job. You know, go to Buffalo. Do something. Now you say it's the McGregor McGabeeb card. I'm like, all right, I feel you. I'm looking forward to that too. You feel me? But Eddie Hearn back with the lies again. And now, apparently, now that Chavez is about to close the deal in with Angulo, you know, which I ain't looking forward to that fight neither, okay? Boo boo crap and shit. And I mean boo boo for the Martinez Chavez rematch and crap for the Angulo Chavez fight. I mean shit for the whole, for Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in particular. Don't care to see the guy fight again. All right, don't care to see him fight again, but um, but now he got to he got to he got to you know he want to he want to close the fight. He desperate, he desperate, bro. And it's rumors going out there saying he offered Canelo five years, one hundred fifty million to fight on the zone. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That's just people popping off BS that they don't know what they're talking about. So before that gains any traction, you know. 
And people on the zone is going to try to act like they're excited to see the fight. You know, it's so many people that's anti-good boxing, okay? It's so many people that's anti-good boxing. They just hate Showtime, Premier Boxing Champion so much. But they consistently giving you the better fights, the best fight cards from top to bottom. The zone card is trash this weekend, garbage, shitty boo-boo, lighted on fire, smell like ass, okay? It's trash. And this fight will be like November 17th or something like that. Trash. Trash. It's just completely trash. The Boo Boo and uh, Billy Joe Saunders fight, that was a good fight. Good fight card to have it in the Northeast of Boston. I was feeling that. But now Billy Joe Saunders had cheated. Andre I said I'd never fight a cheater. He was accusing brothers of cheating like Charlos and, and Errol Spence of juicing, then backing off his words. And now after you've been you've been on a crusade against performance enhancing drugs. And you've been telling people who you think juicing and all and all that crap. All of a sudden, you are gonna turn around and say you open the steel fighting Billy Joe Saunders after he juice, and if Billy Joe Saunders whoop on you, you are gonna be saying, "Oh, Billy Joe Saunders uh, was a cheat." Nobody feel no. I don't have no, no, no remorse for, for Demetrius Andrade. Either you a man of your principles, and you go to the Massachusetts uh, Boxing Commission, and you go to the WBO, say, "I'm not fighting this man." Because when you was talking about the brothers, you were saying the brothers was juicing, Earl Spitz, Charlos, or a lot of fighters from Texas. You didn't have no proof on that. No proof. But Billy Joe Saunders cheat, you still going to fight him. Like, come on. Boy, sidestepping, two-stepping through malarkey, man. And and now if that car fall together, what card he going to have? Even if he get the rights to the zone, Eddie Hearn get the zones the rights to... Uh, to Richard Comey and Mikey Garcia fight. Okay, I'm not. I still, it's not a fight I care about. Anything short of Wilder, Joshua, Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford like that, only way you're going to get me. You're definitely not getting us with Martinez and Chavez. Now, apparently, it's not known if Chavez is going to take the Angulo fight on Al Heyman card, or the Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury card, the PBC card, or he's going to take the Chavez Jr. and Martin, the, Martin, the Martinez fight card on his own. I think whichever one's paying more money, that's what he's going to take. Or well, at least with the zone, if the money is not a huge difference, he'll be the main event. But on a pay-per-view card, under car, he's going to get more exposure. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, you know what it is. And that just shows you the pulling power of being Mexican. Because if this dude was a brother, if this dude was another ethnic group that wasn't too popular, if he was from the Ukraine, Eastern European, who didn't have a major a fan following, if he was a black fighter that, that did all this, it would not be a bidding war over him. He would have to beg to fight on the untelevised portion of the card. But that just shows you how the Mexican um, bagging and your father being a legend um, can help you still be in a bidding war after all the Fugazi things you've done, after all the trainers you done fucked up, after all the promoters you done fucked up, after quitting on the stool. It's like people got that men in black, red laser, they flick in front of the people's faces and they forget about the past of certain fighters. But I'm definitely not interested in none of the fights. You know, long story short, I just wanted to uh, bring y'all some information on this situation. And, um, you know, let me know what y'all think about which fight would you rather see. Um, Chavez and Martinez, neither one of them, and Gulo Chavez, okay? And I, I, I reckon that these fights will happen at 168. I know Angulo was just at 160. He ain't been the same fighter since the since the uh, Lara fight, especially the war he had with Kirkland as well. Martinez ain't boxed in a while. He must have effed his money up and need some cash. Coming back years later, I think they fought in 2011, him and Chavez or something like that. Years later to get a rematch that should have happened a long time ago. But it is what it is, man. Um, the Boxing Clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time. Um... Don't forget to check out the CastBox app, our podcast. You know, the link in the description. You can check out all the content we're dropping. Make sure you're here at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Boxing 101, Early Morning Grind. Our talk show right here on YouTube. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We had a really, really good show today. Check it out on the YouTube archives and or check it out on the CastBox podcast app. The link's in the description. If you'd like to donate, the PayPal link is there as well. Much blessings. Salute to all the brothers and sisters supporting the entire LDBC. Make sure you go check out my brother CB Sports TV. He was breaking news this morning, man. Big player from the shy, you know, is coming up. So salute to him. Salute to my brother, the Cali Enigma. Salute to my other brother, 
my uh, partner, Ten Toes. Now we started off Colossal Sports TV. Make sure you go check him out, man. Y'all know the whole LDBC network. We working one time for the one time.